found. I'm fairly confident that this is the same jackal pair we saw yesterday morning because we're not too far away and they will move around here. There's a pair of black-back jackal. Now they look like they were playing with one another earlier, but oh, actually look what they're doing. They're, maybe they weren't playing. They keep sticking their noses into these large sort of tufts of grass. So perhaps there's little rodents hiding away. Wee! You're very excited running right past the car. How great was that? Off it goes. We're waiting for the next one though. I'm sure it's going to follow. It's hiding behind the golden grass. You can just see its head moving every now and then. Wasn't that fantastic? If any of you ever had any doubts in your mind and you thought the jackal were perhaps very placid, calm animals, well, even they can get a bit of a spring in their step. And I'm sure they're very excited after all the rains that we've had because it's going to bring many creatures for them to feast on, from frogs, which they will also consume, to rats and mice, which there are plenty of. We see them every single night running around. Uh, maybe the odd little hedgehog that um, would have come out. So I'm very excited to see what's happening. I can't even see the other one. Oh, the other one is right behind our car. That's fantastic. What do you think, Craig, if... Oh, no, we'll watch this one's coming out now. The, the other jackal that just sprinted towards us is now standing behind the car. They're a very relaxed pair. I mean, we saw them yesterday. They weren't too perturbed by us parking right next to them and watching them enjoy the morning sun. This one, however, maybe not so sure just yet. Perhaps it will relax a little bit more. <laughs> there we go, some great alliteration from Lara, a jaunty jackal, very nice, I'm all for alliteration. I love these creatures and I really wish we could spend more time with them. I'm sad that that den site has moved. Let me try and reposition them. I'm going to go up a little bit further forward, Craig, and then we'll turn around and come back. Just because I don't want to try and reverse into, oh, I don't want to reverse into any animal. So we'll just do the scenic way, except this road is very narrow. So it may take a few attempts. Come on, up we go. Maybe we can do that. No, we can't. Oh, goodness, there's many things for me to injure myself in this car. Bolts. Well, we'll get there eventually, Craig. <laughs> like one of those really bad adverts, you know, where you have the learner drivers and they bump into one car, trying to do a parallel park. That's how I feel right now. Bump, hey, bump into the next one. <coughs> This will be a little bit better. Hello. So there's the frisky one. Going back across from where it has just come now. They're actually hanging around the, a group of Thompson's Gazelle. The Thompson's Gazelle have now spread out slightly. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're also looking for a young lamb. Or young, what would you call a gazelle? A fawn? Maybe a fawn. I haven't actually got a clue what you would call the young of a gazelle. Um, but anyway, a youngster. And they are known to take out young animals, even young impala. They'll take in the sabi sand. And that's one of the reasons why they're such a big pest. Out here, they're fairly safe, though. No one really worries about a jackal. But in areas where there are farming communities, it's completely different. Should I reposition once more, Craig? Here we can get a bit of view. I think that grass might shorten over here. Yeah, let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, they're very interested in something around here. So there must be must be some rodent urine that they're picking up on, or you know, some a scent from them that they're trailing after. Now, Paula, you're wondering how fast can a jackal run? That's actually something that I, at the speed I've not come across before. Let's, should we take a gamble at it? Maybe somebody can pop it in the interweb and have, have a search for us. I'm going to say that their top speed, so at a sprint, they're probably going to reach about. 60 kilometers an hour, maybe left 55, 60 k's an hour. I think they're fairly quick, fairly speedy creatures. However, they might not be able to keep it up for too long. Um, it's actually unusual. I hardly ever see jackals walking. They normally only have two gates, and that is a jog and a sprint. Um, but up here, they seem to be a lot more relaxed, and it's quite open, of course. But when I first started guiding, that's all that they would do. They would always run and trot, and it was always a, a joke when we were doing tracking assessments is to try and figure out not only what the track was, which animal is responsible for it, um, but what, what sort of speed were they going at, too. That made it quite easy for us. I wouldn't know what a walking jackal track actually looks like. Um, but, they, but they're lovely creatures. So I'm trying to think if they could just cruise, maybe they'd be running at, yeah, maybe 45 kilometers an hour as, as a constant sort of canter. 
if you will. But if, if any of you have managed to find the exact speed, like I said, I have never come across it in any of my mammals books. You can hashtag Safari Live and let us all know. It'll be interesting to figure that one out. But they're very, very busy creatures. Nose is always down on the ground. Maybe there's moles and things underneath the surface of the earth that, um, that they're picking up. Now, Caitlin, you're wondering how big is the territory of a jackal? It's not particularly large at all. Um, I was actually reading about it the other day. Let me... I want to check, double check my book, but I think it's like two kilometers squared or something, something like that. But I remember reading about it. Let me just have a little look here. I should be able to find it. If not, it's not a problem. We can look it up and I can talk about it this afternoon. But it's, it's fairly, it's fairly small. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with about two kilometers squared or so. Not particularly massive. Because I have seen the density of jackals around here is is quite large, so I wouldn't imagine it to be be massive. I'm sure there will be some points where territories overlap, you know, those will be high conflict zones. Mm, but other than that, I don't think it's very large. A lot of these animals, like warthogs as well, they don't have big big territories, big home ranges, and now I can't even see them anymore. Disappeared in the long grass. Well, they still there. Oh, there's, I've got a glare on my screen. That's why I can't see it. Where is, where is the sun that is? There we go. Now I can see it. What are you doing? Eyeing out an impala. Impala haven't reacted just yet. Wow. My life in Africa, you said that a Google search came up with the answer of 79 kilometers an hour. That's very quick, actually. It wouldn't surprise me if they could get to that speed. That's, that's very impressive. But again, I don't think they'd be able to keep it up for very, very long. Perhaps that was... Um, that speed was taken when a lion was chasing a jackal. That would make you run for your life and as quick as possible. Quite interesting what's going on here. They're moving around, heading towards the antelope. But the antelope don't seem to bother them too much. And there's obviously not any really little ones around, and they're not going to harass the adults too much, unless perhaps they were maybe injured, then, then definitely. But they're going to leave them alone. But we'll move on from these. Jackal, we're going to start checking the river crossings. Tristan has found a very cute and cuddly surprise.